Lockdown brought semi-pro rugby to a halt, with teams separated, grounds quiet and clubhouses empty. But that's all about to change. After such a long hiatus, it's almost impossible to believe that this weekend we finally get underway. It almost feels like you've come home. New faces. New logo. New show. The season is underway. Rosslyn Park run riot at Brickfield. The celebrations are wild. Brilliant from Buskin. That's how you finish a game of rugby. And what has just happened? Blistering, brilliant, dramatic rugby. Cinderford moving, Cinderford diving, Cinderford scoring. David Hyde collapsed on the pitch. He passed away in hospital last night. Tributes have poured in throughout the rugby community. He was a gentle giant, a friend to many, and will be missed by all. We always get thrown around and people enjoy it and it has a great family club up to it. That is simply sensational. Worthing, side through. The rugby is, uh, is a massive thing for people. It's, it's what people turn out every week in these horrible conditions for, because um, they've got something to sort of to go out and to compete for. That's the cherry on top of the cake. You know, you can go down to your local rugby club and watch the national rugby on a Saturday afternoon and have a really good time and, and watch some some quality rugby because there are some quality players in this in these leagues. It's a fantastic level of rugby to play um, for any seven professional rugby players. Oh, he's got away from both of them, and it's going to be Fergus McCrow to win it for Sale FC in the death. Every week, everyone's in the game. You don't know. You've got to prepare whether it's playing bottom of the league or top of the league, and a pair exactly the same. It's a fantastic league, and uh, yeah, we're we're just really happy to be a part of it. Going into Lavin, there's a slip that could let Dan Rowland through right into the corner. He bounces and he scores. It's a win in white for Isha. It's Hull's march to history that continues. It's a packed day for decision day in National One. Ben Jones to kick Coley to the championship. Peyton Field has become the promised land as Coldy have won National One. I don't think anyone in the club thought this would ever happen, but it has. These lads have got plenty of heart and we've come good in the, at the end of the last two or three games and, and found a way to win, which you know, we've got to be really proud of them, really. Uh, National One, here we go. And they have worked really hard through you know, good times and bad times this season. If we could describe the season in just three words. Absolutely bloody excellent. <laughs>